Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Suzette. Today we're going to be making some tender beef cubes that I already have rinsed, washed, patted dry. Um, I have one side of a chopped pepper, green, red. I have four cloves of garlic and I have a half a red onion. Got some carrots here and let's get into this recipe. So we're going to season up our meat. And the season I'm going to be using is Lowry's. Hope you guys are having a relaxing day. Going to be using some onion powder. Going to be using some garlic powder. And some black pepper. Gonna be using some Montreal steak seasoning. Now with this, only use a little bit because this with the lard, it can be very salty and overwhelming. Matter of fact, I'm gonna wait to put to add this because once our beef cubes start cooking. Then I'll add it because it'll be water. Well, broth. Um, the, the beef will be cooking in the broth. And I'm going to be using some paprika. And I'm going to grab some uh, teriyaki sauce. This stuff right here is amazing. I put this on almost every single thing. It is not overpowering. It's not salty. It's so good. And it flavors your food well. So, I'm going to add a little bit of this. And we're going to marinate this for maybe about an hour. You add oil and the sauce, it breaks down the meat so it can tenderize. Gonna get a spoon. If I can find one. And this is just gonna give this a good mix all throughout. Make sure every cube has some seasoning on it. These are gonna be so good, oh my gosh. Usually I um, cube these, well not cube them, but I put them on kebabs, it's delish, put them on the grill, and that's all we need to do, we're going to let this marinate for about 30 minutes, and then we'll be right back. So guys, it's been about 30 minutes, um, I put a little bit of oil in the bottom of my pan just to cover it, we're going to add our cubes and we're going to brown them first. And I have my pan on medium heat, and we're just gonna get these browned up. Once we get these browned on each side, then we're gonna take them out, add our veggies, add the meat back in, add our beef broth, and just let it cook down low and slow. So our beef cubes is coming right along. And like I said, we're just gonna brown these up on each side, and then we're gonna remove them. So we just removed all of our beef cubes. Now we're going to add in our veggies. You know, when I tell you it smells so good in here right now, like, oh. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. Keep our pan on medium heat, guys. 
because once we saute this down, then we're gonna add our beef back in and add our beef broth. And the beef broth I'm using is the Swanson 50% less sodium. I always get less sodium with my broth because that way you can season it up as much as you like. Um, Cause some of them can be very salty if you just get the original. So I get the less sodium. So pretty. And we're gonna cut our pan on low, medium. Get us another stir. Gonna add in our beef cube. greens as well some collard greens i have my turkey tails over there boiling down get nice and tender just finished cleaning my greens and picking them they're soaking now And then I'm going to cover this and just let it go. Just let it go. All right. Going to cover this and be back shortly. So, guys, we're just checking up on our beef cubes. Look how good that looks. Like, seriously, like, with your bell peppers, your fresh garlic. You can also add celery to this too. Celery gives food a lot of good flavor. Look at that guys, they're coming together real nicely. It's been almost an hour. You can see the different texture that they are now. Still got a ways to go. I want to say like another 30, 45 minutes. And I'm going to also add some carrots in here. Like 15 minutes before they're done. So yeah, that's where we are. Hey guys, so it's been about an hour and 30 minutes. These are nice and tender. I could let these go for at least another 30 minutes. But they are tender. I can break it with my little spatula. That's how it's done though. It's done though. I'm gonna go ahead and add the Montreal seasoning. And this is what it looks like. Just a little bit, guys. Remember, we added that seasoning salt earlier. We don't want the salt. 
and it made its own gravy. I was gonna get some cornstarch and water to, uh, to make a slur to thicken it up, but it made its own gravy. Okay, let's work for me. So you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Share this video, leave me a comment down below. Stay blessed and less stressed. Oh, let me show you how I made greens too. It looks so good, right? And I got some smoked turkey in here. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Save less and less stress. Bye.